Hello students. Today I am going to teach you about hollow cylinder. I have already taught you about solid cylinder in my previous video. If you have not seen that, please go and watch because you will not be able to understand if you don't know the concepts of solid cylinder. Yes, so continuing with now with hollow cylinder, let's see what is a hollow cylinder. All of you can see this. Yes, a hollow cylinder is something which is totally filled is solid. But when something is taken out from this, yeah, it becomes a hollow cylinder. Yes, from a cylinder, we take out some something from it. It becomes a, like the bangles you can see and like the tape you can see that this is a shape of a hollow cylinder. Now, when we talk of hollow cylinder, we will talk about two radius here. Yes, first is we have a circle which is outer circle and we have a circle which is inner circle. The radius of the inner circle will take it as small r and in a radius of the outer circle will be taken as capital R. Now when I talk about the thickness of the cylinder, thickness of the cylinder what will it be? It will be capital R that means the radius of this is the thickness. Yes this is the thickness of the cylinder that is capital radius of the outer circle minus radius of the inner circle will give you the thickness of the cylinder or we can say capital R a minus small r that is the thickness now now coming to area of cross section cross section you have studied in biology yeah when we cut something we get the cross section of it now I've cut this I'll get the cross section this is the cross section now what is area of this cross section yeah this section that is a ring you studied in class 9th also that area of this ring which is a cross section is a ring here is pi that means the area of outer circle minus the area of inner circle that gives you the area of this part yes I hope this is clear yes area of outer circle from the outer circle if I deduct the area of inner circle I get the area of this much part that is this cross section yeah so area of cross section is if I have to paint this hollow cylinder and I will paint this surface, I'll paint this surface and I'll paint this area of cross section here. So you should all know what is area of cross section because mensuration is all about applying, how you are going to apply it yeah, in your daily life. Now this is again, once again, so what is the thickness? Thickness is capital R minus small r, whereas what is area of cross section? Pi into capital R square minus small r square. Now, what is external curved surface area? Now, external curved surface area is this brown part. Yeah, this is, what is this curved surface area? We have studied in our previous video, 2 pi capital R into H. Here, capital R represents external dimension radius and small r represents inner radius. Yes, so 2 pi into capital R H will give you the curved surface area of the this external curved surface area you can say. Now internal curved surface area is this when I need to paint this I need to paint the external curved surface area which is 2 pi capital R into H yes and when I need to curve paint this inner surface area I'll consider small r 2 pi small r into H yes area of this inner cylinder you can say curved surface area of inner cylinder these are two cylinders inner cylinder and outer cylinder Clear? So inner cylinder the curved surface area is 2 pi small r h, outer cylinder the curved surface area is 2 pi capital R h. Now if I talk about total surface area of the cylinder, if I need to paint this hole, I will paint curved surface, external curved surface area, internal curved surface area, then this area of cross section and this area of cross section. Okay, so we will add all these areas like 2 pi capital R H plus 2 pi small r h plus area of cross section was equal to pi into capital R square minus small r square. So 2 times that because one cross section is here, this is to be painted and this is to be painted. Clear? So 2 times pi r square minus r square. 2 pi capital R H external curved surface area, internal curved surface area and area of these two rings you can say. 
Yes. Now coming to the volume of the material needed. How much iron is needed to make this hollow cylinder? So how will you find the volume of material needed is? See from if I make a solid cylinder. Yeah. And from there I take out this cylinder. The volume of this cylinder. The internal cylinder. Inner cylinder. I will get the volume of the material needed. So the, it's very simple. Just say volume. What is the volume of outer? Outer uh, cylinder will be? Volume of the cylinder is pi into capital R square into H. Yes. And volume of inner cylinder is pi into small r square into H. H remains same. Yes. Understood why? H is same for both the circles. But radius is different for inner cylinder as well as outer cylinder. So pi capital R square H minus pi small r square volume of the bigger cylinder minus volume of the inner cylinder outer cylinder minus volume of the inner cylinder will give you the volume of material that is required and that comes out to be if we take pi h common it comes out to be pi h into r square minus r square yes thank you